Good morning, you guys. I'm having to record, re-record this clip because I accidentally um, deleted it when I was formatting my memory card. But So this morning, you guys can see I look a little crazy. Um, like a lot crazy. So my eyebrows, I'm getting my eyebrows microbladed today um, by a friend of mine and I'm super excited. I'm collaborating with her on this video. So today's video is going to be kind of just like a relaxed vlog style uh, video of me like going and getting my eyebrows microbladed kind of like giving you guys a peek into the process. I'm um, getting up close and personal a little bit. Um, and then I'm going to be also recording after a couple months after the healing is completely finished, I will be recording a, um, a sit down video for you guys kind of going through um, what the process was like and what the healing process was like and what the final result was. Um, also including some touch ups in there as well. So um, I did not tweeze my eyebrows. Um, I didn't touch them. I figured I might as well just give you guys the most dramatic before and after possible. Um, and I'm gonna let Hannah work her magic. So we are on our way to go to the um, tattoo uh, parlor studio where she's at um, here in Moorhead and I'm super excited. You'll see me here um, in the next clip right after I dropped the kids off earlier. Um, like I said, I'm re-recording this intro. Um, I have already dropped the kids off. So anyways, all right, roll into the next clip. Okay, so <laughs> every time I look at myself, I look so crazy. Okay, so I am sitting in the longest Starbucks line ever. It wraps all the way around. So I am gonna grab myself a coffee, I'm gonna grab Hannah a coffee, and then I'm going to format my memory card, and then and then we're gonna head over to Hannah's. So Hannah works out of the Golden Needle um, here in Moorhead, Minnesota, um, and I will give you guys just like a quick sneak peek as to what that looks like. I'm getting a little nervous. Um, drop the kids off at daycare, they are Oh, Riker looks so cute today. He's wearing like the cutest little like bear pajamas or they're like um, Like the lumberjack style and has like a little bear bum like flap on the back Oh, it's so cute and then Kaya's wearing like her mermaid jammies because I promised Kaya they could have a um, Jammy day today. So anyways, all right, I'm gonna get some coffee because I'm getting very sleepy and uh, And then we are going to head over to the golden needle. All right, we are here, and it's time to get some brows on. <laughs> oh my god. Good morning. Good morning. Alrighty. <laughs> Alright you guys, we are here and this is my sweet friend Hannah. She's going to be doing my eyebrows today. Super excited to start this process. We're being blinded by all of these lights, but it's great lighting. My it's eyes awesome. are watering. Yeah. <laughs> we might, we're not crying, it's just we're being blinded. So, and we're gonna get right into the process.
up with my brows and they look incredible they look I have no words I'm so excited thank you so much oh I love them I love them okay so now a little bit she's gonna go over it with me um, the aftercare so I'm just gonna kind of let her um, take it from here to talk about the aftercare so I have two papers here for you okay one is the microblading emojis okay it's self-explanatory but so you have that, so you can refer to that later on. Perfect. And then this is the written instructions. It's all written out, so that if you have any questions, you can refer to this, or you know how to get a hold of me. Awesome. Um, so I went over having to wipe your brows, and that I would yes. provide what you needed for it. Okay, And it's yep. a very gentle wipe, because you don't want to wipe away any of the color or damage any of the skin. Okay. And so this is just a diluted soap and water on here. Okay. And you're gonna do that once every hour for the next five hours. Okay. The, before you go to bed and then again in the morning for about the next three to four days. Okay. Here is the A and D ointment and that should go on after you wipe before you go to bed. Okay. And then in the morning after you wipe um, just for the rest of the day to have that on. Okay. And then a uh, little shaver to keep things beautiful. Mm-hmm. A little spoolie because Tetra. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, my business card. Beautiful. Yay. And then suckers, because we love suckers. Oh, be, oh, of course. Oh, you know who's going to have those. <laughs> okay, maybe I should put another one in for Mike. That's yeah. For each kid. And Perfect. For Perfect. Yay. All right. Well, thank you very much. You. Hi, guys. Okay, I'm trying to get this camera to sit up straight. So, um, my this battery is going to die. So, just really quick, um, it has been... Um, about four hours since we got done and every hour um, I have been wiping with these it's just like mild soap and water but you go forward backward and then like like forward as in like the normal shape of your brow again um, and this is going to help with the healing process and you're gonna do it to both sides um, and then she said a lot of what's coming off is not necessarily pigment, um, but like lymph is what she called it. Um, so just, I'm assuming it, it helps it from scabbing over too badly. Um, and you have nice fresh look looking brows. Now I've been out and about in public, like they're a little bit red as you guys can see, um, but I've been out and about in public. I went and visited one of my best friends who just had a baby and um, yeah, I 
you don't have to like stay at home. There's no like downtime or anything like that. Um, they s sting a little bit, but it's nothing unbearable whatsoever. I mean, I'm just more aware that my eyebrows are there. <sighs> All right, guys, I just got back from visiting a friend. She lives about an hour away. Just got back, got in the vehicle with Mike, and I've got the kids in the back. Um, so yeah, um, I am now at about mm, like five hours post eyebrows, <laughs> um, and they are um, red. Like I was saying in my last clip, like like they don't hurt um, when I make like some crazy facial expressions. They like sting a little bit. Um, oh, crazy lighting. I am like more aware of my eyebrows. Like I can feel them. They sting a little bit, but it's doesn't it doesn't hurt and I feel like I have a pretty high pain intolerance too um, but really it just stings a little bit so I am gonna go over the healing process um, a little bit like more in depth in that um, that good like sit down video that I'm gonna do for you guys um, I just wanted to like quickly show you in this video um, I wanted to share so Hannah sent me home with that bag of goodies like I showed you guys earlier um, so she's got a really nice like microblading aftercare sheet um, it tells you kind of what to look for and like the aftercare etc it's very much so like a tattoo um, and like taking care of it, it is, it's essentially a tattoo um, so um, microblading and it says microblading emotions these are cute um, but it kind of walks you through what the days are gonna look like so day one um, oh my god I love my new brows thank you um, and then days two through four um, it says, I don't like this color, it's too dark. So my eyebrows are really gonna darken up over the next few days, which is totally a part of the natural healing process. Um, and then days five through seven, it says, oh no, my brows are scabbing and falling off. No, that's also part of the healing process. They're gonna scab, like not gross scabs or anything, but they're gonna scab a little bit. Um, and then days eight through 10, it's gonna be, um, my brows are gone. So actually they're gonna lighten up a lot after that. It's gonna seem like the pigment is gone. Pigment is going to raise back to the surface. Um, days 14 through 28, um, they'll start coming back. Um, still looking a little patchy and uneven. And then at about six weeks is when we'll do the touch up for them. And um, that's when we'll go back through and darken them up. And we will finish up the healing process after that. Um, and then you'll be set to go with your brows. So sorry about the crazy lighting. It is sunset right now. Um, but we are just on our way to go grab dinner. Um, something preferably where I can go low carb. I've been doing really good this week. I've been intermittent fasting um, and I've been doing low carb. I haven't eaten yet today at six o'clock. I have had coffee though, so technically coffee does break your fast, but um, I just try to not eat anything typically until noon. But um, anyways, I've lost five pounds this week, which is super awesome. Um, hopefully you can continue that. But anyways, getting back into the eyebrows, um, they are I'm still continuing, so every hour um, using this nice little pack that um, Hannah gave me, and it like each one is just like a mild like soap. Um, inside there are like moistened little um, makeup remover um, pads, and then um, I will go over them each hour. In fact, I am due right now to do it again, so I will show you guys again. So you go uh, like along with your eyebrow with the hairs, you go back and then you go over them again. And again, that's just gonna take off a lot of that lymph, which um, prevents like the scabbing. Um, I'm gonna do it to this side too. It actually is like really soothing too, because like I said, they do sting. And the rubbing like is gonna make them a little bit red, but anyways, all right. So there we go. Um, another aftercare tip that she wanted me to add is that you want to make sure that you don't get your eyebrows wet for the first week or so. Um, she said about four days. So when you're in the shower, make sure that you are um, kind of leaning your head back and washing your hair, really making sure you're avoiding the eyebrow area. You don't want to be touching them a ton. Um, and then you want to just wash your face outside of the shower. Um, and then when you're in the shower, making sure that they're you know nice and covered up with Vaseline or your a and ointment. Um, it's going to make sure that that, make sure that that pigment stays nice. And um, 
it's a very much so again like a tattoo you just want to make sure that it's keeping moist um, but not necessarily with lotion you want to do so with andy ointment or vaseline um, i think that covers it pretty good um, i will have all of her information linked down below for you guys so that if you are local to my area you can go ahead and check her out as you can see her work is beautiful um, something that i really did appreciate that hannah did is that she once she got the eyebrow shape mapped out um, and she drew them on is she went over the shape with me several times um, to make sure that I was in love with the shape um, she uses um, like really cool strings where she has like yeah. chalk on them and it like maps out exactly where your brows should be um, sitting on your face and um, some people like them a little bit more natural some people like them a little bit thicker um, I personally like them on the thicker side a little bit more dramatic um, I like my my brows definitely more like squared off like shaped like a more of a square shape um, but they are um, more of a natural look so they're not going to be a powdered look um, similar to like similar to like if you were to um, draw your brows on so that's definitely not the look we have here we've got individual strokes and she just did a really incredible job um, I am going to record the first portion of um, the sit down review video for you guys tonight but like I said that probably won't go live until I'm about two months post um, microblading um, process or two months after the original appointment that's when that um, formal video is going to come out for you guys kind of walking you through each step of the way so anyways they're looking super great um, no they don't really hurt at all overall I'm just blown away I'm so happy with them what do you think of them they look good, don't they? They look like so perfect. It's just, it blows my mind that I'm gonna have these eyebrows every single day when I wake up and I won't have to do anything with them. Like they're just there. So I have no words. I'm just like, I'm just so blown away. It's just crazy that these are my eyebrows now. All right guys, so we're gonna go get some dinner <laughs> and then we are going to um, go back home and just hang out for the night. So let's go get some grub. I'm starving. It is 6.15. I haven't eaten yet today. I need to get some food in my system. And I think this little one in the back wants some food too. <laughs> we asked, Kaya, what do you want to eat? McDonald's. McDonald's? No. What do you want to eat? Uh, McDonald's. McDonald's. She told us earlier that she wanted to have pizza rolls. So we'll find something. We'll we'll make we'll make a um, We'll come to an agreement. How's that? We'll find something. All right, guys. I just got my Panera salad. Um, we decided to go to Panera for dinner because Mike loves their tortellini, Kaya loves their mac and cheese, and I can get a salad. Everybody wins. Um, so I just get the Green Goddess Cobb with chicken. Um, it's fairly low carb. The carbs that are in here uh, mostly come from like the onions, and um, there's some like diced or like sliced cherry tomatoes and. Um, and avocados so but the avocado kind of cancels out because it is um, full of fiber and avocado is really good for you it's the healthy kind of fat anyway super good one of my go-to's when I am going low carb one of my favorites so first meal of the day 644 is really good though you guys I am a lady. Look at me. Through and through. Mm. See, are we home? We're home. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I have to show you guys. Look at this little butt. Look at that cute little butt. Aren't you just the cutest thing? Hi. You see mama? You want to come see me? Oh, this a cute boy. Who's that cute boy? No, he can't have the camera. I need to get a basket to put on my stairs so like all the things that I need to bring up can just sit in that basket. Hey, buddy. Yeah, he's that cute boy. Take your foot, take your foot. What are you doing? <coughs> Why are you standing up? <laughs> oh, I to stand up. Just really quick, oh, the lighting in my house is so terrible. I really need to work on this lighting in here. Um, makes me look so washed up. So, um, it is 7.36, I'm due for another eyebrow wiping. So I'm gonna go ahead again, 
one's this way, one's back this way, and then this way again. As you can see, like all of my foundation has gone around my eyebrows, but that's okay. One's this way, one's this way, one's this way. So, um, I'm gonna wipe them probably one more time before I go to bed. Um, and then I will show you guys what it looks like to put that Andy ointment on. All right, so we are at the end of the day. Kids are crazy getting into bed. Um, I have just, um, in my other video, I just wiped the brows like I've been showing you guys I've been doing. Um, and now I'm taking my Andy ointment. I'm just gonna open it a little bit and I'm gonna take a cotton swab, Q-tip. And I'm just going to put a little bit on here and coat my brows. So you want to make sure that you do this every night before you go to bed and then every morning as soon as you wake up. And then you also want to make sure that you're doing this prior to getting into the shower. Um, and just give them a good coat. Again, this um, aftercare is really important because this is going to ensure that your eyebrows are going to heal correctly and that the pigment is going to take in all of the really important things. So I, especially this first night, I'm going to give it a really good coat. Give it some extra TLC, even if it looks kind of crazy. All right. The kids are going to bed, so that's what you're hearing in the background is Mike putting the kids to bed. All right, really good in here for you guys so you can see. Um, and then after I put this on, then I will wash my face and um, make sure that I do not get my brows wet. I'm just going to kind of wipe some of that excess um, a and &E ointment off that's like all around the edge. Okay, so... There we go. That actually feels really soothing too. I know it looks really crazy, but um, like I said, so I am just going to leave this, take off my makeup, and then call it a night. Okay guys, I am going to wrap up the video there for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this vlog of me getting my eyebrows microbladed. I was so excited to bring you guys with me today. It is something that I've always wanted to do, and I was really excited to be collaborating with my friend Hannah. Um, again, thank you Hannah for collaborating with me on this video, and also with that sit down video that I will have coming out for you guys here in about two months. Um, but very excited. I am blown away by the results. Great work. Again, all of her information will be linked down below for you guys so you can check her out. Go give her some love. Tell her that I sent you. Say hello. Also, if you guys have any questions in regards to microblading, please leave it in the comments down below um, and I will either get back to you or I will have Hannah herself get back to you um, in regards to those questions. So, um, yeah, we're going to end the vlog there and I am going to get some sleep for a, another really insane video that I'm recording tomorrow. All right, guys, I will see you in a couple days for another really fun video. Okay. Bye guys. <laughs>